This Bhagalpur is in Bihar, India. Today, I am going to discuss with you teaching tools. In English teaching, each day new innovations are being done. So, today I shall be with you with different methodology so that teaching and learning process can be in a cozy and comfortable way. English class must be different from other classes. Nowadays, we have to come out from the traditional approach of teaching that is called chalk and talk method and adopt new innovative ways so that a student can be inside the classroom confident, mature and this process can be in a joyful manner. So I shall come with steps. What steps should be followed so that students feel elated and they enjoy the class. First, we should start the class with warm up. Now, you might be trying to find out what is this warm-up. Nowadays, it is seen students, because of tight schedule and different types of problem, biotic environment has become polluted and the social environment has also is not up to the mark. So they feel problem. So first, we have to make them ready inside the classroom. For this warm-up will be done. As you can uh, take any kind of warm-up. First, I am giving you just the example. Palm to palm. You make two rows of the students and tell them in pair. First, palm to palm, back to back, hand to hand, chin to chin, etc. In this way, total students, the whole class come in the aisle and they enjoy the classroom. After that, this technique, when students are not only physically present in the classroom, but they are also mentally present, we will take the help of lead in. Lead in means introduction. Introduce the topic that I am going to teach you today. This and you will not directly say throw upon the student that this is the topic of today but you will try to elicit from the students the topic of today with the help of on the basis of the previous knowledge of the students. Topic is introduced. Suppose today I am going to teach you a story, the rat trap or I am going to teach you a poem, my mother at 66. You first recite the poem or you read aloud the prose passage. Don't pick the whole story in a day, whole poem in a day because it will be very boring for the students. So you take two or three paragraphs, you read it loud and after that model reading by the students. Loud reading by teacher and it is followed by the students. Now, don't make them sit individually as in the traditional classroom students sit individually. Now, form the group. Group work, pair work, make the students more enthusiastic and they take the classroom very lively in a very cheerful way. So, I shall divide the whole class in different groups. And now, you 
Suppose the class is of 40, so we make 8 groups of 5-5 five, five students or you may make uh, uh, 80 students in a group of 5 groups. And now in a group students start reading and students become the teacher. If anyone commits mistake, your colleague, your friend corrects you. And after this, unfamiliar words. Because you don't know, you may not know all the words, all the meanings of the words. So, I, after that, I will discuss unfamiliar words. In the traditional approach of teaching, what we do? That we throw upon the head of the students the meaning of the words. But this is not the right way. I shall invite, the teacher will invite the students with the help of antonym, synonym, maxim, or a real, a real object, or situation should be created for that, or I can show you the flashcards. These are called the teaching tools, teaching aids, and I shall make you understand what is the meaning of this word If the teacher throws upon the student everything, then you become, you become the crammer. You start mugging up, cramming all the words, and the main motto of the lesson is ruined. So, the teacher gives you the technique so that you can retain in your mind for longer time those unfamiliar words. After this, your group is changed. And that group, now new group, because everybody wants to enjoy new persons. You want to meet new friends. You want to discuss with the other friends. So again, group work is done. And in this new group, you are asked to frame questions. One question, two questions, or according to time, more questions. And your teacher, who is the facilitator, he checks that whether your question is up to the mark or not. Your question is relevant or not. Your question demands or holds the capacity of the students or not. And this question is made by the students. And after this, when you make the question in group, your teacher gives you post-it notes. Post-it note is just a cheat and you are given that cheat and you are supposed to write on that cheat your question. And after completion of that, what your teacher do? Your teacher pays on the wall your question. And this question is suppose of group A. This question is for, uh, of, from group B. That question is from group C, D, E, F. Now see, other group members, they will go, run one member of the group and try to note down, not in copy but in mind. Read the question, retain and go there and dictate to the other friends. In this way, you got the whole question. Now, you discuss those questions. And after that, jigsaw pattern is adopted. Very new pattern, very innovative pattern. In jigsaw pattern, one student is taken from one group and shifted to other group. And this way, each group is shifted. And now you discuss in group and a teacher asks you question and you try to answer those questions. And if there is any error, your teacher corrects you. And before the correction of the teacher, your friends correct you. And after that, teacher corrects you. In this way, you learn the whole gist of the story or the prose piece or the poetry piece and 
you understand in this way the teacher is just your facilitator in the tradition